All right, so this will be pretty quick. I just want to show a way to make cables and pipes and tubes um, using the curve tools. Uh, it gives you a lot of control and manage, manages to maintain shape without having to do a bunch of individual extrusions and rotate rotations. So starting off here, let's pretend that these are telephone poles and then we need to have some wires running between them. The way that uh, this process works is you draw a curve and then you can extrude a shape uh, down that curve. You can extrude another curve, actually. So if we go to create NURBS primitives, or sorry, not NURBS, uh, curve tools, and we're going to choose the EP curve tool. It's the second one down. So we add that, and I'm going to go into my front view, and I'm just going to click uh, the start, once in the middle, and then once at the end. So it adds three points, and it automatically uh, adds the curve between them. So once I have that, what I can do is I can go into an edit mode on this curve the same way you can on uh, objects. So if I hold down the right mouse button, I have uh, curve point, control vertex, and edit point. If I go to uh, control vertex, you can see I've got these five purple dots. And I can move these around. And as I move them around, the curve adjusts and will kind of reevaluate itself depending on, on where these are. So you can see they don't follow them exactly, uh, but they do have an influence over them. So once I have the curve set the way I want, let's say that's fine. Now what I need to do is add a circle. So I'm going to go to, if you go to the curves uh, slash surfaces tool shelf, you've got that first option there as a circle. You can move that up. I'll do this in perspective so you can tell that it is in fact a circle. Uh, I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it around the z-axis 90 degrees. And then I'm going to scale it down because this is going to define basically the cross section of the curve. So I can scale it down. This isn't going to be a very large cable something like that. Move it over a little bit more. Scale it a little bit more. Okay. So I've got that there. Now, if I select the curve, hold down shift and select my circle. And I want to go to the curve or the surfaces menu and extrude, which is about five down. I'm going to bring up the options. And I want this to output polygons, so I want to work in polygons, and we'll set the result position to be at the path, so it'll follow this path, and we want it to set to quads, right? we want four-sided faces, not triangles. So those are the only three things I'm going to change, result at path, uh, output polygons, and type quads click extrude and nothing happens because why would it happen there it is okay something is wrong uh -oh. let me I think I might have selected it in the wrong order let's try the other way circle path and extrude there it goes okay you can see I had triangles on so I'm gonna undo that and Make sure that we go back to quads. There we go. So we want to select the circle first and then the path. And now you can see that the faces, the normals are reversed. So I just have to select it and go to mesh display, reverse normals. And there's our cable. Okay. Now the kind of the nice thing about doing uh, doing these cables this way is I can still go back to my uh, initial curve and might have to do this in wireframe so you can actually see that original curve is still there Oops, go to object mode on that. and if we go back to the curve points I'm sorry control vertex I always get those confused there we go see these purple dots are still there, 
and I can still adjust those and the cable follows. Okay, so you can still make those tweaks and adjustments. Now, once you're ready for this to be final, what you need to do is select your cable and go to Edit, Delete by Type, History. And what that's going to do is it's basically going to get rid of that relationship. So now, if I go back to the curve and adjust the control points, it doesn't affect the cable. This is locked in. Okay. So that's the, the simplest form. Uh, that's just three points, but you can also go much more complicated. Let me get rid of those. Okay, let's say we want to route some cables from this box down to this box. It's going to be the same process. So I'm going to go into front view, and I'm going to do my EP curve uh, tool. That's this uh, third option in the curves uh, shelf, or you can go up to Create Curve Tools, EP Curve Tool. Click on that, and I guess start start clicking. So I'm going to go here and over, and I think this is, yeah, we'll go into wireframe so we can see it. We'll go over, and then we'll go down, and then back over, and just because, let's go that way to make it a little bit faster. So once I have it kind of initially established, I can adjust my whoops, adjust my points kind of get things situated the way that I want. I move that over. That's looking pretty good. Here, let's move that down. Oops. Move that down. And so we have. Once you get it where you want it, uh, it's the same process. We, so we add a circle, move it up, over, I'll rotate it 90 around the Z, scale it down, and then select the circle, shift, select the path, click extrude, and there is path. You can see that we're a little bit weird here in the center, so I might go back and make some adjustments to that path. You can see also it needs to move out. So we want to move that path and the cable will follow. There we go reverse those normals. Go back to the path. Oh. There we go. Okay, so it's a little bit bunched in here, so I might alleviate some of that. like that. Um, you can do this with the other two curve types. You know, there, there's a few different ways to create curves. There's a uh, CV curve tool, which I do not remember what it stands for. Uh, you can just kind of experiment with it. It is just a different way of making a curve. Okay, you can see uh, the fundamentals are the same, it just behaves a slightly different way. And of course, the more points you add closer together, the sharper the, the radius is. So if you wanted to go with right angles, you can do it that way. You can also do the Bezier curve tool. 
which works kind of like uh, well, it works like the pen tool in Photoshop or uh, Illustrator. And if this is the way you're you're most most comfortable with, uh, this works too. Yeah, same same process for extruding cables, just three different ways to adjust curves.